Hey guys, you should come with another video, and this is going to be a video about the trinket Whispers in the Dark. Now, it's a trinket a lot of warlocks have, and it's a trinket that a lot of warlocks should look towards getting because it's the best trinket in the game for an affliction warlock. And I want to talk about why in this video, and I also want to talk about how you should be playing when this thing's procs, okay? Really quickly before I get into that, make sure you guys check out the link in the description below to a Google Doc that I made. It's going to be a Google Doc covering the Nighthold mythic bosses and what talents you should be running on them, and also a couple tips on how you should play against them, so make sure you guys check that out. Anyways, Whispers in the Dark, okay? What this trinket does is it has a base uh, intellect on it, which is also really, really good for your damage, but when you equip it, your damaging spells have a chance to grant nefarious pact. Now what this pact does is it increases your casting speed by 40% for 12 seconds. When it ends, your casting speed is decreased by 16% for 8 seconds. So obviously what this means is you want to be maximizing during the 40% and then minimizing during the 16%, okay? Now I want to talk a little bit about how to do that and how you should be playing around it. With regards to playing around it, don't wait for this trinket to proc. This trinket is too RNG to play around. Don't save reap for it. Don't save shards for it. Just when it procs, you're going to be playing around it a little bit differently, okay? So don't save stuff for this trinket. It's too RNG on a fight. You don't know when it's going to proc, but when it does, obviously it's great. It's going to be a huge boost to your DPS, and now I want to talk about how you're going to be managing it. So what the 40% cast speed does is it increases the tick rate of your agony, your corruption, your siphon life, and your drained soul. So when this thing procs, those things are going to be lasting the same duration on the target, so your agony is still going to be the 19 seconds. It's just going to be ticking 40% faster. Same thing with your corruption, same thing with your siphon life. Your drained soul will also be ticking 40% faster, okay? That means these abilities have just received a huge damage boost from when this trinket proc. Now I want to talk a little bit about unstable affliction. So when this trinket procs, what happens is your unstable affliction damage will not change. Your unstable affliction will still do the four ticks. The four ticks will just happen a lot faster. So what this means is when the trinket procs, your siphon life is doing more damage, your corruption is doing more damage, your agony is doing more damage, and your drained soul is doing more damage, but your unstable affliction is still just doing the same amount of DPS. What this means is you only want to cast, you know, two to three UAs as per normal, probably just two, and then focus on maximizing your drain soul up time when this thing's procs, so you can get the maximum amount of benefit from Malefic Grasp during this drain or uh, during this proc, okay? So I want to show you guys what I mean. So when I cast Agony on the target, you see it has a 1.6 second tick rate, but now that my Nefarious Pact has proc, it then goes to a, a 1.2 second tick rate. If we look at Drain Soul, it's taking every 0.6 seconds, but obviously when this thing fades, everything's going to go back down. So you can see when it fades, it goes back to 1 second. My, um, my Agony tick goes to 1.9 seconds when this casting speed decreases up. So you can see very quickly how it's going to be very beneficial for you to get those, you know, 0.6 drain soul ticks and those 1.2 ticks on agony but you see if i cast unstable affliction here the duration is four seconds and it lasts a lot um less on the target it ticks off much more quickly okay so what this means for you guys as a warlock you know you're going about your da regular damage rotation on the boss you're just attacking him you're just casting you know your regular ua rotation like this you know you're going about your business your trinket procs what should you do well just keep going about your regular rotation just refresh your dots on the target, maybe cast, you know, one to two UAs, not too many, don't go ham with them, pop reap if you have it, and then drain. And while what this is going to allow to do is, while you're not so worried about the unstable affliction damage, it's going to buff the hell out of your siphon life, your corruption, your agony, and your drain soul, and that's what you're really looking for, okay? So this has just been a really quick video on talking about how to play with the trinket. The summary of it is just don't worry too much about casting unstable affliction. Don't worry too much about trying to fit a lot of UAs in the proc because they're not actually doing more damage. Just make sure that you're maximizing your drain soul up time during the proc. And then after the proc is finished, worry about life tapping, worry about all that good stuff because you're doing less damage during that time, okay? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.